I just wanted to mention, why is it nowadays that shame doesn't seem to exist? Can someone explain to me why that is the case? Why is there no shame out there in society? People don't feel embarrassed or anything at all. It's just an absolute free for all. Do what needs to be done to get the clout you need to get. All attention, no matter how um, fleeting it is, is good attention. No matter how you know flaky it is, is good attention. I don't understand. It. And the reason why I say it is because Jason Lee, the founder um, of Hollywood Unlocked, a really trashy, gossipy kind of hip hop site on Instagram, mostly that does kind of gossipy news and whatnot. And a lot of people kind of find distasteful because the guy behind it is a little bit, you know. Um, he doesn't mind ruffling feathers. He doesn't mind being messy and stuff and just kind of really being in the muck. And sometimes you'll say some stories about some people that they won't like, whatever it may be. You know the standard thing. So I guess there was something happening for the Wakanda movie premiere. And this Jason Lee guy was there and he did something incredibly embarrassing whilst he was there. Um, you know, when he bumped into Rihanna and Rocky on a red carpet. They're there, obviously, on a red carpet, as you can see him there. And he sticks sticks his head on the shoulder of rihanna and tries to make it look like they're all friends hanging out and rihanna's just posing doing a thing but then quickly rocky realizes that he's trying to clout chase and basically tells him to chill out which is really really embarrassing let's play the video that's them dance <laughs> <kind of thing. laughs> he says I, he says i come on man jason lee's getting all up in the picture right really making it known that he's there doing that weird laughing that in the pictures which it's funny because he's doing that thing where he's trying to pretend like they had a conversation so that when it shows up in pictures it looks like they had a chat right that oh my god she did something to me so it's funny this girl's always making jokes. She's hilarious. Oh my God, you won't believe what she said to me that moment. Like this is all theater just to make it seem as if they're way closer than they actually are. And Rocky's reaction to it and him kind of escorting um, his, his, <laughs> his lady away from the guy basically says it all. And then there's an example of it that's even worse with Beyonce where he was chasing her all around the shop and she was legitimately running away from him, which is pretty, pretty funny. And there's this one here, which is, let me see if I can get it up on here. There you go, this one here. <laughs> she 100% saw him. Do you see that? She 100% saw him. And then when he made her attention, she pretended like she didn't see him the first time. She saw him completely, but was just trying to get the get the hell out. But she also didn't want to alert her security guard to make it too obvious. And she kind of ran out of the place. But then the other video about it is really, really hilarious. Oh, this is the full one, but there's another video where it's even more embarrassing. No, this picture obviously is hella embarrassing. Where this is the picture that he uploaded on his flipping Instagram account, which is horrendous, right? Him calling Rihanna and flipping it. except Rocky mum and dad when he's like 10 years older than them. It's absolutely crazy. But if you didn't see the context of that video, you would legitimately think they were friends, right? You would think so. You'd think they were friends. If you didn't see the video, you'd think they were all pals because Rocky's laughing at something. Rihanna's laughing at something. He's looking dead into the camera. So it it looks like they shared a candid moment where you know a quick joke was exchanged or something along those kind of lines but uh, no joke was exchanged he was just in there trying to beg and trying to pretend like he was friends with them and it's just like i don't know man i don't know about you guys but when it comes to celebrities and stuff i'm not really somebody that makes my effort to go out and go and try and say hi and can conversate with them Anytime I've seen a celebrity in any kind of way, the most I've done is do the head nod, right? I've done a kind of head nod. I've done maybe a spud up and maybe, done, oh shit, that's so-and-so. Hey man, I love your work. Oh, thank you so much. And just kept it moving. Never, ever stop and chat. Never stop and chat. Never stop and chat. Never and asking your questions. Never. Because I remember one time I did it awkwardly, but it wasn't my fault because I was just sitting down. I was sitting down in my chair in a train one time and this guy that was in a TV show, I wish I could remember his name. Um, he, I think he was in the Wheel of Time also, but he was in another show here in the UK, like a little kind of BBC crime thing. And he was sitting across from me. And I was reading my book. I looked up and this, here's a guy that I was watching on TV yesterday. I was like, oh shit, you're... He's like, yeah, what's going on? Oh man, I love you in that show. Thank you. Da, 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 da. 
And then I just said what I said. I talked to him about the show, but I, I forgot that, you know, he's a fucking person. So I was rambling off about the show and that was it. And then he kind of got off and he stopped, which I think, hope he was his stop. I hope he didn't just get off just, just for the sake of leaving me. But I didn't want to ask for a picture. I didn't even think about it. I just went to have an interaction with someone. Oh, here, what's up? So same if I see someone on the street that happens to be a celebrity. It's just a quick spud, a quick, hey, what's good? And keep it moving. Never, ever stop and chat and all that stuff. Because I, I'm just thinking it from the perspective of them living their everyday life. They're constantly getting stopped. They're constantly getting harassed. And also in that conversation, there's nothing I'm going to say they haven't heard already. And there's nothing that I really want to start. There's, no, there's nothing I really want from them in that interaction that's, that's worth it. Like maybe if I happened to be walking around and I had a magazine that had Rihanna's face on the cover and she was there. Was, oh shit, you're Rihanna. Blah, blah, blah. Can I, can I get you to sign my magazine? That'd be pretty cool. I just bought the magazine for her on a pit on the cover and she's on it. That'd be pretty funny. But in terms of exchanging words more than five and have, trying to have a conversation and trying to let them know how much your music means, it's just keep it yourself. Keep it on Twitter. Keep it moving. They don't need to hear it. Leave them alone. And this is even worse with the Jason Lee stuff because he's in the industry. I think it's somewhat, understandable for us regular civilians right as comedians like to call us to maybe fan out if we see a rocky if we see a rihanna because of what their music means to us what you know the time of life that we were listening to all that kind of good stuff but when you're somebody that's been in the industry you're actually an industry figure you've got a hip-hop publication whatever that you do um maybe having some level of decorum and being a little bit chill can go a long way can go a long way and usually also you have to imagine if celebrities who hold entire persona maybe with, with the exception of rihanna because she's got fenty but if you're just a regular artist your whole but entire livelihood is somewhat reliant on you having a good relationship with these kind of platforms right outside of your music being good you still have to rely on them kind of pushing your music out there reminding your fans it's coming out giving you good press it's all a part of the game so when do these people that need you are running away from you it probably says a lot right that they'd be running away from it's like celebrities seeing some editor from the daily mail and jumping into the bushes right that's not a good sign that probably tells you everything you need to know about your platform and how it's viewed by people who actually need your platform in order to kind of keep the lights on and keep their kids in private school and you know go to fucking you know pilates class and drive their g-wagon they need you for all those things so the fact that they're running away from you or making it known that we are not friends it probably says a lot about you as a person but i thought that was entirely cringe the fact that he's tried to make it out to be a thing that it's not is horrendous but the interesting part about it is that the history books for the most part won't see those videos all they'll see is the pictures so essentially he kind of got away with it you know he kind of got away with it because the history books will remember the pictures though it will look the way it looks and if you type his name into flipping google after the fact especially now this has got a lot of shares and engagement it'll go up in the rankings and it'll look like he's friends with everybody he's got pictures with beyonce with this with that yeah i mean it all makes complete sense so there we go man what and he's also got if i'm not mistaken has he got his arm around her here on the back to fake like kind of fucking um warmness and shit and connection and whatnot and she's got that kind of fake industry smile on Rocky's got that smile on also. It's absolutely horrible. Yeah, there's like a, a Vuitton, um, what's it? It looks like a Velour tracksuit also. It looks like a Velour tracksuit at a fucking film premiere. Don't get me wrong. I don't like Rocky and Rihanna's outfit. I think it's horrendous, even though it's Rick Owens. I'm not a fan of it in general. But this Velour tracksuit at a film premiere, it's got to go. It has to go, man. It has to go. But anyway, who cares? What do I know in it? And what do, was the matter in the check? Yo, big up Eric in the check. Big up, big up, big up. Um, 